Every plane crash calls for a thorough and careful investigation. The disastrous plane crash which claimed the lives of not only the Polish president, but also of top military officials and other elite members of state demands all the more scrutiny. Meanwhile, the government of Donald Tuska has handed nearly the entire investigation over to the Russian government, a move which tests the already wary relationship between the two countries. Furthermore, the Tuska government cannot produce any documentation to clarify who approved the decision to make Polish investigators completely dependent and subservient to the decisions of the Russian government. While a Polish commission was organized with the intention to investigate the cause of the catastrophe, the so-called Miller Commission, under the leadership of Minister Jerry Miller, was left completely reliant on Russian intelligence. Neither the minister himself nor other members of the government showed significant interest in the results of the investigation. It therefore came as no surprise that the first report outlining the cause of the plane crash at Smolensk was released by the Russian commission MAK. Janusz Bujnowski, the editor of the monthly Polish-Canadian publication Aviation, has followed the work of both committees very carefully from the start. Pierwsza to była komisji Maku, która oczywiście już zaraz po upadku samolotu stwierdziła, że to wina pilotów, a potem jeszcze podali, że był w kabinie generał Błasik, potem że miał alkohol, że pływał na pilotów. First came the Mac commission. It quickly found that the pilots were responsible for the crash and that the pilot's cabin was visited by General Błasik, who Mac later reported was drunkenly pressuring the pilots to land. According to the report, the Polish president was also pressuring the pilots, who were under such extreme pressure to land that they made mistakes. They found themselves only two and a half meters above ground as they were attempting to pull the plane up. The wing of the airplane clipped a birch tree and caused the crash. Ta też się złamała, ale tragiczne to było dla samolotu. To był szok dla wszystkich, no ale jakoś nie wiadomo dlaczego strona polska this explanation was shocking to everyone, and even though the Polish public initially mentioned they would dispute the findings, they decided to publish the findings of the Miller Commission instead. The Miller Commission relied heavily on the clipped wing theory. What happened before the birch tree was more or less sorted out, and what occurred after the crash wasn't so important since the plane was down anyway. So evidently no further investigation was required. It would appear that the findings of the Mac Commission became accepted to the Polish side for political reasons. Dostosowano się do raportu Mac ze względów politycznych, to jako odgórne nalecenia były. In my opinion, this was not an independent commission. It is easy to lay blame with the pilots who cannot defend themselves in death. The original transcripts of the black boxes are outside of Poland except for one. And we are very skeptical that the copies contain the same data as the originals. We know that certain fragments have been falsified, cut out. One black box was simply not retrieved, a very important one, which contained information about the speed and direction of the plane. If found, it might completely contradict what has been published in the report, but no one can say how it disappeared. It simply evaporated. This is nearly impossible. These are solid constructions. They should be resilient to various crashes, shocks. There were no large fires on site. If there was an explosion, it may have destroyed the box completely, if it was somewhere near, but debris would remain. Faced with the complete indolence or otherwise bad faith of the Polish government and the Miller Commission, the opposition has called its own parliamentary assembly to determine the cause of the disaster. Under the leadership of Antony Macierewicz, known for his uncompromising integrity in such matters, the commission gathered flight experts and scientists who were moved to contribute upon seeing the initial treatment of investigations. Komisja Macierewicza powstała chyba 7 lipca 2010 roku i po roku dała tam dosyć duże już opracowania. The Macierewicz Committee was established on July 7, 2010, and already a year later it has produced a large body of work. The committee mainly consists of MPs and senators, but it has also many technical experts. Professor Kazimierz Nowaczyk from the United States as head of the technical team. The Zena Institute, located in Krakow, has announced that the retrieved voice recording contains neither the voice of General Błasik or the sound of the collision with the birch tree. Additionally, it found no indicators that the pilots were under some kind of unnatural pressure. Therefore, the Zena report completely negates the MAC report. Więc ten 
raport albo ten scripting z tego komisji cena kompletnie obalił raport Maku. Already before its premiere, the National Geographic film, which details the Smolensk catastrophe, sparked sharp dispute in Poland over its credibility and the thoroughness of its makers. Założyli właśnie te dwa raporty jako istotne, przy czym podkreślają, że większą rolę odgrywał raport Millera. Bo na tym the creators of Death of the President based their film on these two suspect reports, which is very sad. They stress that the Miller report was their major source while making the film, and that report is based on lies and manipulations, on manipulating the public opinion. These reports are worthless. There are thousands or tens of thousands of parts which are completely deformed in a way which simply does not occur in plain accidents. W czasie katastrof takich nie ma defragmentacji samolotów. The scientists working in the Macierewicz Commission did not limit themselves to editing the work of the MAK and the Miller Commissions alone. Relying on independently conducted expert studies, they arrived at results which indicate that the cause of the Smolensk catastrophe is entirely different. Mało kto o tym wie. Not many people know that the current findings suggest that the plane landed on its belly, but the tail was inverted upside down because an explosion in the air tore the plane into several pieces. One time I was speaking with Dr. Szludzinski, he's my friend from university, that right now we have experienced two large turns in the tide of this story. The first one was the Zena Committee, which declared that something other than what was officially reported took place. The second one is from findings of Todd which show that the collision with the birch did not occur, but rather an explosion took place. As of now we speculate that there were two of them, but there could have been more because some point out that the explosion occurred at several points of the craft. The third major turn will happen when the Americans send us images of the exploding airplane.